Okay, in this video we're going to run through Easy Loads, uh, which is one of our uh, whole house loads. A very simple program. Put in some walls, some windows, some doors, the ceiling, floor, boom, you're done. Uh, it really, really works well on a, a square house. Um, I think Easy Loads came about in about 1999. It's, it's on a really older version of, of Manual J. Um, so if you are having to do loads for permits, for rebates, things like that, they will not accept Easy Loads. Easy Loads is, is more or less uh, a really quick calculator just to give you an idea um, of your load. It doesn't get too specific in terms of wall types, window types, things like that. Um, and it is a bit out of date in, in comparison to the AccuLoad. Um, as you'll see here in, in the program, just to give you an example on the walls, you know we're going to choose above grade or below grade and that's that's about it whereas in um, manual J you're going to actually choose okay it's a frame wall it's got R13 insulation it's got board insulation and it has siding uh, this program doesn't really do too much um, of that as it's based off of an older manual J so let's go ahead and get started uh, on the screen here I have I've pulled up the customer information for the easy loads again um, pulling in your customer information. You always just click on the next button. It takes you to the next screen. Um, you can choose your city and state. You can adjust your design conditions as you see fit. I'm just going to change our number of people to three and our kitchens is going to be one. Now what you can do, this program follows uh, six or seven, maybe eight quick steps. We have a button in here that says quick start guide. It gives you your steps. One, do this. Two, do that. Three, do this. Um, so if you ever need help within the program, you follow the quick start guide. It'll pretty much go through uh, your scenarios there. When I click on next, it's going to take me to my walls. Um, so you can see here, I'm going to start with my north wall. I have a, a wood frame wall. I'm going to say we have R11 insulation. My length on this wall is going to be 40 feet. My height is going to be 8 feet. Windows. I'm going to say we have a double pane window. Just a clear wood frame. My window area is going to be 42 feet. My wood door. On this north wall I have none. So I'm not going to get rid of wood door. I'm just going to leave my area at 0. I click add. Now I've added that north wall to my load. I come up here and I choose south. I can rename my wall ID to whatever I want. I just use 1S, first floor south. My length is going to be the same. Maybe on the windows I only have 39 square feet. I do have one door, 21 feet for the area on the door. I click add. East and west. I can go 1E for the east wall, which is going to be 50 feet long. I have no windows facing east. I do have a door facing east. I go ahead and add that. I can go ahead and come up here and put in my west wall. It's, again, it's 50. I have 73 square feet of windows. I have no door. I can go ahead and add that. So now you'll see that I've put in my four walls. I can click on next. My ceiling is under an, under an attic. I have R19 insulation. My length is 40, my width is 50. My floor is going to be over an open crawl space. I have hardwood floor with a little bit of insulation. Again, my dimensions are 40 by 50. I have no skylights. I can leave the area at zero. I click on add. I click next. We're, now we get into the infiltration. So we're just putting our dimensions for our first floor. 40 by 50, 8 feet walls. If you have a basement or if you have a second floor, you're going to put those in. Tightness, we leave up to you. I'm just going to leave it at average. I'm going to say I do have one fireplace. My ductwork, I'm going to put it in an unheated space. I'm just going to leave it in the crawl space with a little bit of insulation. Click on next. There's my totals. I have my total heat loss. I have my total gain. I can print a form here that shows the types of walls and windows that I did. I can print an input form. 
if I'm going out in the field without a computer, I can print and print a form that's blank that I can fill out, or I can print my System One summary, which you see um, in front of me. Again, very simple program um, designed for uh, one of our first load programs that we had out there. Um, just designed to give you a quick and easy um, heat loss and heat gain. Uh, again, if you are dealing with with counties or states on permits or rebates for utility companies, uh, they will not accept the easy loads just because um, it is based on an older version, uh, a dumbed down version of, of Manual J. Phone number here is 815-452-2345. Email is support at adtechsoft.com. Thank you.